Millie, you can't go back to Kansas. You're next con, remember? Well, I can't stay here. Not after pouring soy sauce all over Miss Parker's dress. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to me again. I thought I'd clean it. That creepy Mrs. Mears swears by the stuff. You're gonna be the talk of the town tomorrow. Don't say that. Oh, in a good way. Think of all the people that would like to smother Dorothy Parker with soy sauce, but can't in fear of her poison pen. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, relax. She's so plastered, she won't even remember your name. Really? You think so? Oh, thank God. <laughs> a scandal like that could cost me my job, and Mr. Grady... is a stiff, ain't he? Well, some might say so, but... I get to see a side of him that very few people get to see. Uh huh. yeah, while well, you're sitting on his lap. No. Has he kissed you yet? No. Does he have a pet name for you? Yes. What? John. John? That's not very romantic. But it's modern. He calls me John because I'm so efficient. Johnny on the spot. And I'll let you in on a little secret. This morning, he almost popped the question. He did? John, he said. Don't you ever leave Sincere Trust Insurance Company. Oh, great. Maybe you can work it into the vows. Another crack. You know, every time I mention Mr. Grayton... Hey, can I ask you a favor? A really big one, because I know how hard it'll be for you, but can you not talk about your plan for once? Why not? Because I'm sick of hearing about it. You want to marry a guy who thinks of you as, a, as a, a, a typewriter on legs and be my guest. Thank you, I will. You know, the new woman chooses reason over romance any day of the week, and I'm a new woman. So then why set your sights on the world's oldest profession? You know, if I were you, I would shut my trap about other people's professions, Mr. Oh, I used to work in paper clips. Well, then maybe we shouldn't speak at all. Maybe our nightly excursions have been using too much time on my dance card. What do I care? Pretty soon, all my time will be spent with my boss slash fiance, Trevor Graydon III. I'm warning you, Millie. I've had it up to here with you and Graydon. Well, I don't know what to tell you because I'm going to marry him. And where will you be, butterfly boy, going from flower to flower to flower? You have a problem with that? Oh, no. I'm just merely suggesting that you should grow up, skirt chaser. Gold digger. Womanizer. Jezebel. Casanova. My trunk, or maybe I'm dreaming. I ought to be screaming when suddenly everything today is thoroughly just like that without any warning. Up to in the morning, he suddenly everything today is thoroughly for their signs, and I didn't see them. A random remark, occasional sight of taking the park and leaving his eye. Everything today is thoroughly, everything today. Jimmy, oh Jimmy, silly boy, she what a real swell guy, Jimmy, oh Jimmy, oh what joy, he makes my trust. I can't.
can't quite confess. So costly, implore me, I promise you won't bore me. Oh, gee, I might say. <laughs> Now, remember, it's our little secret. But she's my best friend. No, Dorothy. Miss Dorothy. Not to me.